Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first in a new series of twice monthly updates direct from the ETC Mantis team. Every two weeks, we'll be joined by Dominic and by David and other members of the core team to bring you the latest updates on development against the roadmap and news from the wider ETC community. Thank you, team. Hello, everybody. My name is David Rosales. I'm the project manager for the ETC Mantis project. I will just take over the role from the previous project manager back after the December release. I'll be updating you the community regularly on the project status. Handing over to you, Dom. Thanks. Uh, hi, I'm Dominic Zajkowski, and I'm the new tech lead in Mantis, uh, taking up the role from Huli, whom you met during the launch event. And I want to explain what we're going to do on our community engagement uh, communications. So first, we want to continue doing our bi-weekly dev calls in which we'll show in much in a technical, technical manner what the team has been uh, doing for the last uh, two weeks and showing a little bit under the hood uh, what uh, individual tasks get up to the, to the features, what is the status of it, what, we are, what issues we are, uh, we are facing uh, and driven by, by the different uh, team members. And then on a monthly show, um, we want to show, uh, looking more into the technical roadmap, what features, what we have delivered, what is going to be delivered uh, soon compared to our uh, initial uh, roadmap, as well as uh, giving a small demo of uh, some features and functionalities that we think that it's uh, uh, that they are relevant for the community, as well as inviting some people from from our uh, from the community, from the ATC community, where the uh, um, they can show things from a, from a different perspective, not just from a UHK uh, site. So related to the Mantis team, I want to tell you that currently uh, we have 16 team members. They are distributed all over the world in a very decentralized uh, fashion. We have people in Poland, in Netherlands, in Slovakia, Australia, US, France, Switzerland, and Serbia. Um, and. Uh, some of those team members, they were the ones that they, were, they brought the product uh, on the 9th of December uh, during the, the, the launch event, and some of them, they are being, uh, they are, they are new. Um, and I also want to say that some of these, uh, some of these faces, they will be the ones also appearing during our, our uh, dev calls, explaining the stuff that they are uh, working on. And related to the roadmap, uh, so as we mentioned on the, the launch event, uh, our immediate uh, objective is to bring Mantis to a production-ready uh, product, giving a similar performance of other characteristic uh, like uh, they have in, in other clients like uh, Bezu and Geth. So uh, in order to do so, the first thing that we need to understand is uh, be able to capture where we are compared to other clients like Geth and, and Bezu in terms of uh, uh, fast syncing, block propagation, and uh, compare compare Mantis to those, right? So that's, that's the first item related to the to the benchmarking. And then once we know where we are, we are able to uh, to increase the performance in terms of uh, of the synchronization times. Uh, in terms of the, the peer uh, peer discovery network uh, and so on and so on, right? And as well as uh, one part of, of that uh, ready to be a product is the GPU mining. Uh, and we're concentrating our initial efforts to be usable for uh, for the mining pools. And this uh, this is what we're going to what we are working currently on the client on the client side. And then for the wallet uh, side, we are continue. We, we want to continue to to, uh, to solve the existing bugs, hearing the community feedback uh, on our channels. There was some feedback, for example, uh, and uh, on a, on a user experience for the ninety nine percent synchronization messages. So we can improve uh, that that communication uh, to the user. Also, we want to prepare the uh, the wallet on how we're fetching the transaction history uh, to be uh, in a more uh, efficient uh, and organized uh, manner. And also prepare the foundations to build uh, and develop a multi-account wallet. And lastly, um, be able to inform the user where they are navigating through the different uh, networks uh, to identify those, uh, those addresses. 
And last but not least, we want to uh, we want to keep working on to those uh, items that uh, IOHK is championing into. So the first one is uh, OBFT, which Don will explain us a little bit uh, more into the detail that part, as well as the treasury. And then more on, on the cost functional side. So we want to uh, make an audit on on Mantis client, on the Mantis wallet, on the Volat Explorer. So we have an independent uh, security audit that uh, will highlight uh, those those items uh, that need to be that need to be solved in order to give to the community a, a, a security uh, solid uh, product. Uh, as well as keep improving our initial uh, technical documentation uh, in terms of the how-tos, uh, improve our JSON RPC documentation and smart content deployment. So David, thanks very much for that progress report on the update there. Dominic, perhaps you can now share with us a little bit about uh, what's been completed and what's in progress. Sure, Tim. Thanks. Uh, what's been completed? First, we delivered a major new endpoint, GetProof of membership and non-membership. This is available in our repository on the development branch. Besides that, the very long lasting upgrade to Scala 2.14 is finally done and also available on the repository. And there were a few major bug fixes in our wallet transaction history, the current implementation. As David mentioned, there will be further work to improve performance and make the wallet uh, application and the wallet uh, functionality in the client better. What's in progress? Currently, we are focusing very heavily on uh, stabilization and improvements in the, our checkpointing effort. Uh, this is the biggest selling point of Mantis and we are putting most of our efforts there. Besides that, we are working on FastSync. Uh, this has been uh, announced on the launch event as a beta functionality. We are striving for a production ready uh, implementation uh, our current focus is branch switching. As David mentioned, performance is very important for us. We are focusing on being on par with GEF and BESU, and we are putting implementation efforts into measuring uh, of times of, for example, block creation, fast sync, and submit work. Part of supporting GPU mining is to make Mantis compatible with pool mining, and in the long run, enable GPU mining. We are actively working on being compatible with existing pool solutions. Improvements to Cademia implementation have been incorporated in our release of Scalanet 0.6 and is available on our development branch. These efforts give Mantis better discoverability on the P2P level. Besides that, we are heavily in investing in releasing Mantis. Our current backlog is full with bug fix fixes and new features which we want to get to the community. With that, thanks a lot for listening and back to Tim. So thanks very much for joining us today. Remember, we'll be back every two weeks with all the freshest updates from Mantis and the ETC ecosystem. Don't forget, like, subscribe and click the bell to get all the latest updates as soon as they happen. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>